，美国这对夫妻喜过千金，初尝为人父母的喜悦。但奇怪的是，小詹妮不像一般婴儿，一天睡十六个小时，她天天精力旺盛，活泼好动。Well, when she was born, she wasn't sleeping. She was up every 20 to 30 minutes. I see puppies. Puppies. I see puppies. 小詹妮的牙牙学语，做父母的不以为意。没想到，当她一天天长大，詹妮的恐怖行径已经超乎你我想象。Oh God! 明明上一秒又哭又闹，下一秒却高兴的又跳又笑。更让人毛骨悚然的是，有时候他突然两眼往上掉，小嘴张开开。父母怀疑詹妮被恶灵附身，因为这一刻他仿佛身体出现另一个人，神移到异想世界，久久无法回神。Jenny sees things, she feels things, she hears things that other people don't. Here's our kitty cat. Meow. Look, little kitty. 一个人自言自语，讲述些听不懂的话，但你相信吗？这居然是詹妮小小世界的自创用语。If I want to say baby, I say the dog. If I want to say where is the dog, I say dog lair barks. 就这样，詹妮活在自己的异想世界，她一点儿也不孤单。不但有一只叫四百的猫，还有一个虚幻的朋友，叫做二十四小时，以及一百多个幻想中的玩伴，如影随形陪在詹妮左右。See, are you seeing a lot of numbers right now? Yeah. Where are they, and what are they doing? Two tens. 就怕詹妮走不出自己的虚幻国度，在她五岁那年，父母亲生下弟弟与她作伴，但这份好意却换来詹妮莫名失控。Being hit and being kicked and being bitten and scratched—that was just came was part of being Jenny's dad. 为了避免憾事发生，父母亲只好把姐弟俩分隔两地，一人轮流照顾一个，二十四小时不停歇。久而久之 ，Michael 夫妻心力交瘁，再也无能为力。I don't know what else I could have done. I don't feel guilty that I brought him into this world. What scares me is I don't know what kind of power they have over her. Her imaginary friends will tell her to do things like hurt herself or hit Bodhi. Jenny's story later drew a television show to come to interview. The host, Fair Lisen, tried to open Jenny's heart to that magical bridge. Who's 24 hours? My friend. Yeah. How old is she? 16. Do you guys tell stories? Do you? We play. Yeah. What? Chase midnight. 仔细详谈后，医生和专家终于发现，其实詹妮之所以活在异想世界，全都因为她的大脑里有另一个自己。I've seen um only really a handful of children in my 20 years that fit this kind of diagnosis. She really had schizophrenia, and so this is a condition that she will have her whole life. 原来詹妮是罹患罕见的精神分裂症，一出生，言语行为就会受到幻觉中的人所控制。所幸在药物治疗下，詹妮渐渐好转，附身之说只是无稽之谈。